Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Today I thought I would do a little bit of a close to my heart brand new catalog haul. Now I didn't buy everything, I had to pick and choose, but these are some of the favorite things that in my mind were must-haves for the kind of crafting that I like to do. I did order a couple of the stamp sets that are a stamp and thin cut set. You can see there, stamp and thin cut. And it all comes bundled together in this little six by six pocket. This is an alphabet set and then it has the four little banners that the alphabet fits perfectly on. And I'm really looking forward to using this. Another stamp and thin cut set that I thought was so neat was this birthday borders. Aren't those cute? And again, it all comes bundled together when it's the stamp and thin cut set. Uh, we have several new embossing folders. This one is called Cascading Dots. And you can see they're, they're thicker at the top and then as you get down to the bottom, they thin out. Um, this one I have used already plenty and it is great. You can use it to look like snow, to look like rain, just to, to give a piece of cardstock a little bit of some texture. This is a very versatile embossing folder. Some thin cuts. Um, I did a video featuring the heart. Let's see, what do we want to call this? Thin cut star. This is the star shaker window, and I did a video using the heart shaker window that are new. I did purchase the stars. And this is Olive Branch's background. Isn't that pretty? This, I see shaker cards in this future too. I did cut a couple out so you can see there. That's all, oh, it's so pretty. And here it's perfect for stamping your sentiment, stamping, you know, happy birthday, thank you, miss you, any of those kinds of things. These are, oh, they're lovely. This is a little baby envelope. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? This is the size and you can see that it embosses the lines that you fold and you make a little baby envelope. I've seen some cute ideas for that as well. This one says, thanks. Now I am a sucker for letters with the border. And I had to get this out and do this. Oh, isn't that sweet? I used our white glitter paper and then I think the background paper I used is thistle, which has been retired, but I still had some in my stash, so I used it. Isn't that beautiful? I love, I love it. And I think that fits perfectly on the front of a card. In fact, here you go. Look at that. You could even stick it on there. Oh, yeah, I think that works. Here are those heart shaker windows. And these are some of the shaker bits and different little frames and things that you get when you cut those out. Here's the card that I had made featuring that heart shaker window set. Shaker, shaker, shaker. So much fun. Little heart bits. Here are the acetate windows. I forgot to order the star ones, <laughs> but I do have the hearts. I will order the stars. Those make life so much easy, easier when you're trying to put together a shaker card. Now we have a, a special going on. It's called Got Candy and it's a Halloween themed paper and um, they've got these little ghosts and spiders and pumpkins and just cute, cute shaker bits. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I just couldn't, uh, couldn't resist those. Our color of the year is Blue Bell. And so these are Blue Bell glitter gems. And those are just lovely. And then I also picked up the Blue Bell shaker bits, loose sequins. Those are so pretty. 
some new products that we're carrying. Uh, this Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray. This is a, a new thing for close to my heart. I picked two colors, had to choose, picked two colors that I thought would work together. And I can't wait to get going with those. They are also carrying a very healthy selection of liquid pearl colors and again these are just a few of the colors that I picked up and then I picked up one of the stickles this is my we've had stickles for a couple of years now I just never bought them and I thought I would give them a try so I went with oh what is this one called this is called icicle and it's a, a neutral you know when you're buying something new like that I think that it's good to go for a neutral type color the other thing that I bought was one of our stencil packs. This one is stencil pack two, and it has three different stencils in there. Let's see if I can get them out. And I, when I bought these, I thought they were six by six. I did not realize that they're 12 by 12, and I'm really excited about that because I can use them on scrapbook pages. These work to make really interesting backgrounds. This one is like a honeycomb kind. Oh, these are gonna be really awesome. Another new product is an addition in our flip flap line Flip flaps are, they have adhesive on the one end, so you can attach them to a page protector, and you can stick items in there. These are 8 by 12s, and I thought this would be wonderful for going through my children's little bins. They each have a little bin with some artwork and schoolwork that I saved over the years, and I thought for those 8 and a half by... 11 pieces of paper, I can definitely trim off a half inch on, or a quarter of an inch on each side and fit them in here. And this would be a nice place to put those kinds of memories in their little albums. The other thing they've been adding to is the, the glitter paper line. This is sapphire. Isn't that luscious? Oh, Look at that. It's so beautiful. And they have other colors too. I had to choose. I chose Sapphire to start. And another new paper is, this is called Black Ore Paper. It's O-R-E. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. But it's got a little bit of a glitteriness to it but it's not a glitter paper it just has a glimmer and i think it's going to work well to emboss with i think it will cut beautifully with the thin cuts and i i'm guessing it works well with your cricut as well this is the newest mix-in paper pack and there are several black and white designs and i love black and white paper Black and white paper is one of my faves. So I will fan them out. And this is just meant to complement and coordinate with the different page paper packs that we have in our new catalog. This is from the new um, September, October catalog. Aren't those beautiful and lovely? Beautiful all on their own, but coordinate perfectly with our September and October paper packs. Then of course I had to order the 24 sheet pack of the Bluebell paper and oh, this is our color of the year. This is only available for a year so if you love it, this is the year to buy it. And one of the other things that I did this time around was to take advantage of our custom pack. You can custom choose the colors, either a 12 page pack or a 24 page pack. And this is our card stock. And we have several new colors. We have um, a, you know, a bunch. And I didn't 
have the budget to buy full packets of each of the papers. And I thought instead of doing that, I'm just going to, I think I did two, four, six, eight pieces of three different colors. So I did scarlet, cinnamon, and desert rose in here. And you have to buy minimally two pieces of each color. But I thought, you know, eight pieces, that gives me a nice sampling and a nice beginning. And as the year goes on, I can see what I'm really gravitating to and using. And then I can invest in more of the paper. This one I did flamingo, avocado, and grape. So it's purple and a green and a pink. And then this one, I did some more of the Bluebell and the Sundance. Um, and then I threw in some black because I always need black cardstock. Who doesn't need black cardstock? And last but not least, I have all of the new um, ink pads. These just became available. So we did some replacing of some colors. And of course, Bluebell is color of the year. And Bluebell is definitely available in a pigment pad as well. I've never bought the pigment pads. I just haven't. But I, I think they have a beautiful consistency to them. And I might think about investing because I really, really, really like this color of the year. So new colors. Again, scarlet and desert rose and cinnamon and grape and flamingo, Sundance and avocado. They're really lovely colors. And um, the ones that are going away are some of my faves, but life goes on, things change, and I have to move on with them and get the new colors. I do like the grape. I do like that's a little closer to a true purpley color. And I do like that. Um, and I'm sure that I will grow to love all of these colors. In fact, I already like all of these colors. I just have to get them moved in and get the others moved out and take care of all of that. So this is just a small sampling of the new products that are available. Um, this is the new September, October 2020 catalog. So lots of beautiful things in there. And then this is the new pardon all the papers sticking out but they're notes and things um, but this is what the new year-long core catalog looks like so this is the 2020 2021 catalog when you place an order if you go to barbaderholt.close to my heart.com and you place an order they will put one in your order um, to begin with free of charge take advantage of that you may have to tell it Tell the system as you're checking through the end process that you want to add that to your order. And if it's free, I say add it. Um, but lots of really neat things in here. So much that I couldn't buy at all. That's why I have a sampling and I bought plenty. Um, but I encourage you to check it out. You can look at the catalogs online as well. Um, of course, I'm a paper person. I like to feel and touch and look and dog ear and write on my pages. Um, so I hope you enjoyed seeing this small sampling of products that are new from close to my heart. And I hope you have a blessed day. And I will see you next time.